Hey Legends, it's your boy Ice. Uh, yeah, you read that without correctly. Naruto is coming to Fortnite. And he's been confirmed for over four months. But, um, it's just a matter of figuring out when he's coming and what they're going to include in his pack. But before we get to that, uh, my, my friends keep on telling me to engage my audience, so, you know, great. If you like my voice or you like the content, consider subscribing. I make discussion videos on things that I care about, like, you know, Sonic news, anime news, anything. I do record reactions to a lot of Nintendo stuff, like Directs. I know you guys like my Bleach content, so whenever chapters of that come out, or even when the anime comes back, I will be making reaction videos to that. I, I love me some Bleach. Or in anime overall. So, if you want to stick around and watch me grow, you can. Or if I fuck up and get cancelled, you can out sub anytime, it's free, it doesn't really matter, but you know, let's just dive right in. In regards to Naruto coming to Fortnite, I have come up with four potential dates that he could potentially come to the game. One of those dates, believe it or not, is tomorrow. Now the importance of tomorrow is, September 21st, 2021 is the 22nd anniversary of Naruto's franchise. However. I don't think that's going to be happening because this morning on the 20th of September, Fortnite just announced a collaboration with Balenciaga, which is a p very popular clothing brand, and I feel like that's going to be in the rotation of the item shop for the next couple of days, so people don't miss out on some of these cool clothing items. The next date after that is Tuesday, September 28th. The reasoning behind this is that Fortnite has introduced a system to spread out content throughout the season to not make them boring in the beginning. What they're doing is, this update that's coming up is apparently over 1,000 builds. I have no idea what builds means, so I'm going to assume that means like assets in the update. And Naruto might be in that update, so Naruto might come at any day during that week. My third day I have in mind is October 10th. I know that's a little more ways down the road, but... The reasoning behind that is, that's just Naruto's birthday. Just flat out, that's it. That's the only reason. Just, just Naruto's birthday. Then my final date would be November 10th. Which is, I know, even longer than before. But that marks the end of Naruto Shippuden. Naruto Shippuden ended on November 10th, 2014. Which is, holy shit, six years ago. Man, how time flies. But yeah, that's my speculation on when he's going to be coming to the game. Now let's move on to what's going to be in his pack. Throughout his series, Naruto has had numerous amounts of costume changes and appearance changes, ranging from Kid Naruto One chilled kid Naruto. Shippuden. <laughs> Is that all? You're worse than my Sasuke. Don't talk about him. Like you own him. Especially in front of me. Four tails. This boy. Six tails. 
Sage mode. I'm gonna settle this! Bring it. QB chakra mode. Karamba link mode. Safety to six paths. Naruto the last. Naruto the last in QB chakra mode. Hokage Naruto and Hokage Naruto in QB Chakra mode. Let's go, Kurama! You saved me! Kid Naruto isn't going to be in the game because he's too small to be a Fortnite skin. But I can see them recreating the famous Team 7 photo and having that as, a, as an artwork that we can put as our loading screen to incorporate Kid Naruto into Fortnite. Now, as for the emotes, he can do the Rasengan, the Rasen Shuriken... Eat a bowl of ramen, the sexy jutsu, shadow clone jutsu, or for each respective Naruto that they want to add in, like say they add in Shippuden Naruto, the last Naruto, and Hokage Naruto as different styles, they all have a built in emote where they transform into different forms of Naruto to include all of them into the game. For example, Shippuden Naruto can transform into Sage Naruto and have the giant scroll on his back as a back bling. Naruto the last can go into QB chakra mode and have a mini nine tails on his back. And Hokage Naruto can go into Kurama Link mode, but he has the true seeking orbs on his back to mimic his Sage the Six Pass forms from what he had when he was younger. His pickaxes can be regular old kunais or the true seeking rod or if they want to do a callback to Naruto's moment in the last where he dual wills Rasengan's and starts deflecting laser blasts away from him they can use that as as, as pickaxes and it is kind of a, a callback to when Naruto learned how to use the Rasengan in the forest when he broke his first object so tell me what you guys think about my speculation on what's going to be in his packs and when he's coming to Fortnite. And I will see you guys in the next video. 
stay safe guys stay gaming peace love